Hey there, this is Red Gravity from RGTV. I know it's been two years since we were last on the air, but there'll be more about that on the return of RGTV video I'm going to do later on. This is a small instructional video I was asked to do by some clan mates because I was uh, messing around with my Hydro H60 by putting a Peltier cooler from a mini fridge onto it to see basically what I could do with it. I'm um, aware it's just bitches, which sucks, but my webcam died halfway through, so it's all I can really do at the minute. The first pictures are of the components, which, you can, as you can see, are corrugated semi rigid hoses, which are on the original, which are a pain in the ass to actually flex into position. You have the main system, which is has the pump and the copper front plate. It's a uh, rubber washer, which does come with this weird stainable black crap on it and the actual main body which has a white rubber thing. I'm not sure what it is but it's in there. The blue is um, a never dry sealant which I'm going to use to replace the sealant I washed off. The Obviously you have the radiator which I drilled the hole which was a M5 size so it didn't weaken the structure. I threaded the hole and put a matching size bolt in it. I had to put a nut on because I couldn't cut the bolt down to size. You have some clear plastic tubing which is 6mm thick, well internal diameter is 6mm, and some Fessa UV blue coolant which was cheap and hell of a lot more than I actually need but what can you do. We have the internals from the refrigerator which obviously has the heat sink, the case fan that comes with it to cool the heat sink, the main electronics, the Peltier cooling block and is a little metal square which bolts onto the plate I cut out later on which you'll uh, see and a hobby box just to keep the electronics safe. As you can see um, I cut the plate out. I would put more holes in just to help airflow and I wouldn't paint it because it doesn't transfer heat as well after I've painted it. I covered the washer with the blue uh, before putting it back in so it doesn't leak. With the clear hosing it's a lot easier to place the radiator and the fans where you want them instead of the semi-rigid ones that come with it. It took hours to drip feed the system because I didn't have a funnel big enough. Actually that's a lie, I didn't have a funnel at all. So. Every now and again I have to put power through the pump in order to suck the air out and the liquid back in. It took forever, but it, depending on what you have it shouldn't take too long. Then, as you can see from the outside, it's uh, the radiator and the cooler is on the outside now rather than having it having to be in the inside. And it works perfectly fine. I put on the auto overclocking to extreme. It took it straight to 4.7 and I had it generating rainbow tables for 9 hours and it didn't break 56 degrees celsius on maximum load on all cores so it works pretty well when I have some money I'm going to actually make a proper plate so I can screw it directly to the radiator rather than having to use industrial sized cable ties it's very simple to do and it's cheap to do excluding the cost of the actual water system which is only about 40 pounds the parts only cost me 10 15 20 including the uh, coolant so it's not a bad modification if you can be bothered if I had the money I'd love to upgrade a Zalman Reservator 1 and put a cyclone tube on the outside but I don't have the money for that so unless you want to uh, pay or send me the stuff so you can see what I mean then that would be fantastic but uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. This has been Red Gravity of RGTV. I will hopefully be doing my radio show again via YouTube videos until I have an, until I have a service provider which can actually give me a decent internet connection so I can stream again. But like I say, all will be explained in the next video. Peace!